Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I am reviewing the first issue of the new Dr. Afra ongoing comic series. Uh, new issue 1. It's titled Fortune and Fate Part 1 The Rings of Veil. Vale. So yeah, it was written by Lisa Wong with art by uh, Marika Cresta. And it came out on May 4th, 2020, digitally. And May 27th in print form. So yeah, uh, I really enjoyed the issue. Um, I haven't read any of the uh, first Doctor After Ongoing series. Um, only um, a little bit of it. The first volume, then there's a, like, and then a crossover. Uh, Screaming Citadel, I believe it's called. Um, with the main... Uh, you know, with the... Uh, ongoing Star Wars comic series but in 2015 the 2019 one um, but then I haven't read any of the other stuff and I, I read the uh, Dr. Aphra or not Dr. Darth Vader um, the uh, 2015 ongoing series I read all of that really really enjoyed it and I you know it's series what introduces her and I really liked her in that too and, and you know, all that so yeah, um, there's going to be an audio drama releasing, uh, in late July, which will be adapting, uh, her, uh, first appearance, um, and expanding on it, too, so I'm excited for that, too, but this issue I really enjoyed. Um, it's a lot of fun, I enjoyed the cast of characters, um, yeah, and there's a decent bit of them too, but I enjoyed them. So I thought they were introduced rather well, as a uh, outside of Afra and um, Kirstan, Black Kirstan, uh, yeah, the Wiki. Um, I believe for the most part, all the characters were new. Um, could be mistaken, I could actually search that up on Wikipedia, um, should have actually looked that up beforehand, but it's okay, um, yeah, pretty much all characters are, you know, their first appearances, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, Thought they were, like I said, thought they were all introduced well, um, you know, and I'm into what, this, like, quest to find these, um, rings and whatnot, and I'm into it, and, yeah, uh, um, yeah, you know, I, I really enjoyed it, um, so yeah, before I get into the breakdown, I, you know, enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, before I get into the breakdown, it's an overall thought. I enjoyed it, thought it was fun. Uh, you know, obviously a lot, of the, a lot of jokes and whatnot in it. I, I felt a lot of the humor worked a lot for me. I was heavy into all that. Uh, characters, like I said. So far, this story, I've, uh, I'm really into it. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna jump into the breakdown part of it now. So, uh, spoilers ahead for the issue. But, you know, it starts off in Hoth, um, sometime after the Battle of Hoth, and, like, after his disguise is Imperial, and, like, tricking some Imperials to load some stuff on the speeder she's driving. But then, you know, and they kind of catch on to so Black Kirsten, you know, Wookiee. Um, it was introduced in the Darth Vader 2015 ongoing series, and I believe it's also featured a lot in the uh, first Dark Traffer ongoing series. But, um, then a uh, Kubaz named Tublik Ruse, um, also was there, saves her, uh, and then, you know, Afro whoops her. 
because she's wearing a mask. Whips mm -hmm. off, you know, revealing herself, I guess, and shoots one of the um, Imperials, uh, you know, snow troopers. But then, uh, <laughs> Rue, Ruse, or t Two Black Ruse, however I was pronounced, you know, tries to you know, betray Afro and whatnot. But then, another one of Afro's crew members named Just Lucky. Uh, human male seems like especially he's like snipers. Um, shoots. I did not write shoots right in the uh, script here. Um, <laughs> shoots ruse. You know, saving Afro. And then you know, a bunch of the other Imperials catch on and send like an ATAT after them and whatnot. And so they escape back to Afro's ship. Archangel 3 and they leave Hoth. Um, but then we see Afra at the Shadow University handing over an artifact she found, which I assume is what they stole on Hoth. Um, and talking about alien, I forget what species it was, isn't it right? And you know, that's if you get paid and whatnot. Which they say, of course. Uh, but then you know, see Afra and her, you know, just lucky and Black Kirsten uh, celebrating their victory at some uh, cantina, I guess. Uh, but then this um, young lady comes up uh, named Dita Yeo. I that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. You know, talks Afra about like. And, you know, says she's looking for the rings of Veil. And so, uh, you know, Afro talks her, like, asks the, um, her university is, you know, funding and whatnot, which Yeo says, you know, no. Uh, but, that they would be the find of a century. And that they might be cursed. Which, um, that just... Just a little mention of it being cursed at the end, which I, I thought was uh, funny, but, um, and, uh, lucky ass, how cursed, but, you know. And, you know, Afra says it makes off that, you know, they're not cursed, and that's, she knows, you know, and that it's a good stuff, because, you know, they say it's cursed, so no one will steal it, and so Afra agrees to help you know, out, which, um, yeah, you know, then mentions a doctor named y Eustica Oka. I don't know, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. And, um, you know, ask Afra if uh, she knows her, which she does. And, you know, obviously, Afra has a past with her, which we learn about in a moment, because they head there to where she is, and the runes of Kulker, something like that. And, you know, after talks to uh, Okan, you know, the past gets mentioned, which I guess they're former classmates or something like that. Not fully. Uh, I would assume it would probably be more in later issues. But uh, Oka also has a droid, uh, which is a BD unit, uh, you know, like BD1 from a Jedi Fallen Order, named TA-418, so... Yeah, but, um, yeah, he talks to, uh, Oka about the Rings of Ale and the journal she made and whatnot, which, you know, Oka talks about and got her expelled and whatnot, and she already told Ron Tag that she doesn't want to help anyone find the rings, which then, conveniently, some of Tag's men come in to try to force Oka to come with them. But Afra talks to like two of them, and I guess she knows. But then she shoots like this chandelier, which you know starts up between a fight between Tag's men and everyone else. Then um, Oka has these like big I don't know, droid thingies. I'm not really sure which attack men's or Tag's men. I almost said men's Tag's. Um, um you know, allowing them escape back to a. Uh, I believe the Archangel, uh, 3, or I-I-I, uh, where 
Then you know they talk about tag in the rings and whatnot. Then you know after it gets so good to agree to help him out and whatnot. And then like okay, it talks about the curse and the you know, the rings and the curse and whatnot, which you know after rubs the uh, curse off. Then, you know, a bunch of bullshit basically. Uh, but then we see Ronan attack in his penthouse on Canto Pipe. Or doing something like these artists, like, I don't know, it's weird. Um, it's two pieces of art, and two artists or something like that, and trying to figure out his pet or something. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but then, you know, his men come in and tell them that they, they uh, failed to get Oka, that, uh, you know, she's in league with Afra. Um, which, you know, uh, tag, you know, intrigued by Afro and whatnot, but then goes back to the artist, where he then just, um, destroys both of their pieces of art. Kind of weird, but I'm not gonna kink shame, so, uh, yeah, but, uh, then, um, you know, he tells his men to follow Oka and whatnot, um, and then, Makes that to how deal with half for himself and whatnot. That, that's where it ends. And, you know, like I said, I, I quite enjoyed the issue. I'm uh, definitely into it. Um, yeah, uh, I'll probably try to you know catch up on the uh, entirety of the uh, first series, uh, at least before the next issue, or definitely before the end of this uh, story arc. Um, so, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, really enjoyed it, enjoyed the characters, enjoyed, uh, the story so far, and, yeah, just enjoyed the overall funness of it, um, so, yeah, uh, I also didn't mention the art, which I thought was good, you know, I'm not an art critic, like, running tags, so. Yeah, um, I say it's ever seen a comic review, but it's like, I don't know, looks fine to me, so, yeah, doing diamonds when it's like, okay, yeah, well, yeah, that definitely doesn't look very good, so, yeah, um, I don't know, but yeah, uh, you know, overall, I really like the issue, uh, my, uh, no, my great friend, I'm going to give it an A. So, yeah. Uh, the next issue comes out July 20... Something. I forget. Let me look. Issue 2 is already on the issue 1 page. July 22nd. That's what I was going to say, but... When serve is the 22nd or 29th, but it's the 22nd, so yeah, I'll probably have a review sometime out, sometime after that. So yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, other than that, not much else to say. I enjoyed the issue. Um, also around that time, there'll be a doc, when the issue 2 comes out, the Dr. Afro audio drama thingy will be coming out too, so it'll probably be... Um, doing a review for that also. So, yeah. Um, I'm rambling on now, man. This one off here. I've been Star Wars Review, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.